Hey, it's me again. Okay, now it's time to set up our MQL funnel split reports. And in order to do this, we need to, um, we're going to start with just getting our total count of form submissions. So <clears throat> the way we've, this template's built it out is you need to see those as activities within Salesforce. They're logged as activities on either the lead or contact record. And since, uh, Activities will show up in both lead and contact records, and we have to create actually a new report type because out of the box, um, if you look at activities, um, it'll have activities with leads and activities with accounts, but this general activities report isn't something that's normally available out of the box. So we have to go create it. So we're going to go create that and then create our report. So I'm in setup. And if I re search report type here in the quick find menu, um, there's report types. Uh, you'll get this little message that just tells you what it is. You'll continue through. <coughs> now, I've already built this uh, report type before, but we're going to go through the process. So new custom report type. The primary object we're going to report on is activities. Um, you come up with a name. So we'll just say I'm going to call this activities2. And this is going to show, you have to put in a description and we'll just say, we'll show all activities and we're going to store it in the activities category. For deployment, uh, this is whether it's visible and accessible by people or not uh, within your instance. So since in our case, we're just going to immediately make it deployed. Okay, here's where you can choose the types of objects you'll use in the relationship. So we've already got that primary object in activities. We don't care about the relationships with anything else for this right now. We're only reporting on the total number of, in this case, form submissions, which is just an activity. So we're going to save. And then we're not quite done. The report type is creative, created. It is deployed, which means it will show up in our window here if we click new report. But <clears throat> we want to make it a little bit easier out of the box because we'll probably create several of these over a while. And when you when you start with just an activities report, all it gives you natively is uh, like by default as fields showing up in the report. In fact, I can show you here. So we'll go to new report. We'll go activities. Here's our activities too. You can see it just puts in the subject line, which is fine. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, to make our lives a little bit easier, if we create multiple of these, we're going to want to put in the fields we want. So when you go into uh, editing the report type and the layout, you can choose which fields you want to show up by default. So we already have that. You can see this checkbox here by the subject. We're going to add a few more. So if you double click on these boxes, a little window pops up that says, where you can check by default and hit OK. So I'm just going to do these on a few. So let's say we want the comments. We want the, we need the created date. Let's say we want the status and the name. Two, three, four, five, six. That'll be good enough. All right, let's save. All right, so now those are the default fields that will show up. So now when I come back and start over here, <clears throat> and the report we just built, activities two, the report type, excuse me. Uh oh. Refresh the page. All right, there you go. So those fields show up by default. Now, uh, this is essentially the MQL report that we need, total MQLs. We're going to go back to, we're going to use our created date because when these tasks are created, they're automatically completed. It's just logging them. We'll go a ways back current and previous fiscal year. That didn't click. 
And then we want to make sure that the columns lined up like we're supposed to. So if we come back to our uh, template here, uh, create a date needs to be in column E, the subject in D. So we'll come back to our builder. Subject is in fourth place. Create a date in fifth place. We need to go like this then. Oops. Fourth and fifth. Great. So we'll save and run. Okay, the report works. Now, in your instance, you'll get loads of activities because I didn't add the filter, right? So the one filter that we want to make sure that we only bring in the MQL, we only need to bring in the data that we care about. So in this case, <clears throat> it's however you standardized your MQL activities. In my case, the subject is always the same. So uh, we will just say that the subject has to contain this phrase. If you have multiple, just um, you can put them all in there separated by a comma, and then we're good to go. And that'll give us our total MQL submissions for the date range that we, we wanted to pull down into our sheet.